there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share the information in this video with you because I have been on a journey to firm my skin and I'm going to share one of the important details of how I do that today with you in the video. And if you're not a subscriber and you're 30, 40, 50, 60 like me, 70, 80, 90, 100, let's all hope we get to be 100 looking and feeling our best, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that's like telling YouTube you would like more of the same. Okay, I will get into this and tell you about my derma rolling experience. I've been doing this now for probably on and off about six months in earnest, but I have changed my approach to what I think is a safer, just as effective approach to derma rolling. Okay, let me get into this. And first I will tell you that this is a fabulous book and it is about $85. And so you know that I really wanted to learn how to do derma rolling in the correct way for me to order this. But this is Dr. Lance Setterfield, MD, and he is known as the father of derma rolling. He has been doing it in his practice for literally years, done a lot of studies on things, and he used to use longer needles in derma rolling. And this is a derma roller, and you'd almost have to be under a rock to not recognize this little derma roller. And this is what they call a cosmetic depth derma roller. It is 0.25, the little quills are 0.25 mm, and cosmetic derma rollers or micro needling systems are known to be 0.25 or 0.3, no deeper than that. Once you get into 0.5, that's a pretty shallow depth needle because they do go up to one, two, and three. But I will tell you, I would never use more than a 0.5 on my skin. And I used to use a 0.5, but I've gone down to just using the 0.25 or the 0.3 because I think it is safer. And Dr. Setterfield believes that you get just about the same results. It might take a little longer to get them, but especially in a home setting, it is the safest way to do microneedling or derma rolling, and that is to use this more cosmetic depth roller. And it's so funny because they used to think this was about worthless. And when I came to YouTube, that was kind of the general thought about a 0.25 derma roller. But this book really goes into that. In fact, there was a whole chapter on cosmetic derma rolling. And he says that whether you have a little derma rolling device like a Dr. Pin, I actually have a Dr. Pin, or a derma roller, like I'm showing here, that it's about the same. However, I've always felt like whenever I use the Dr. Pin, it is much stronger because you can really control the depth of this and go very lightly. And quite honestly, that's how I do it. And later on in the video, I will be showing you a derma rolling session. Normally I do it at night and I try to do it two nights a week, usually Tuesday and Thursday, maybe Tuesday and Friday, something like that. But Dr. Setterfield actually says you can work up to every other night on the Cosmetic Depth Derma Roller. And I must stress to you, again, this is 0.25 or 0.3 at the deepest. Don't go more than that, more often than that, because all you're doing, although it may look good when you use a 0.5 more often, all you're doing is really giving inflammation to your skin and it is not good for your skin over time. And I have to admit that earlier on, I was using the 0.5 once a week. And looking back, I realized I really should have been using that depth of a roller only once a month. Okay, before I get into showing you my derma rolling session, let me show you some of Dr. Setterfield's results from his studies, and they are wonderful. Okay, this woman here, as you can see on the left, She's 54 years old and she was treated with products for two years. And what that means is she was using a retinol or Retin-A for two years before she did this. And most of us are doing good skincare, so we could have similar results. And as you can see in the before picture, she has wrinkles around her mouth. She has wrinkles under her eyes. She has wrinkles, you know, at 52 years old, one tends to. And then in the after picture, after using a 0.2 millimeter derma roller for just 10 months, as you can see, her fine lines and wrinkles are greatly reduced. And I have not really noticed that so much on my skin. I'm using the derma roller more for sagging skin because I am getting jowls and I've got some wrinkling down in here. I'd like to address that. But I have to say, I'm still waiting to get results on these under eye wrinkles. I'm not really seeing that yet. But another thing derma rolling is good for in terms of the studies is sagging skin. And as you can see here in the before picture, this woman is 55 years old 
and it says here she was treated with products for 18 months and then a 0.3 millimeter derma roller for six months. There's six months between the photographs and look in the before picture. Her skin is wrinkled and it is also just saggier and kind of baggier. And then six months later after the cosmetic derma rolling, look how much more firm her skin is. It is really tightening up and she is losing some of those fine lines and wrinkles as well. Now, this is something that I was surprised about when I read it in this book, and that is that microneedling or derma rolling, it means the same thing, is also good to treat sun damage. Who would have thought that? But let me show you a before and after picture from his study. And here it is, UV damage, and this is with a special light to where you can really see that sun damage underlying the skin. And this woman is 54 years old. She was treated with products for two years and a 0.2 millimeter derma roller for 10 months. And it says, note, UV damage improvement from 135 down to 82, which is supposedly a 39% improvement. And as you can see in the before picture, she definitely exhibits more sun damage than she does in the after picture. And that was something that really surprised me because although I have been extremely sun avoidant and extremely diligent about daily sunblock since I was 35 years old, when I was a young child, I was outside all day long at the pool. I looked like a raisin all the time. And although I look fair, I can really tan darkly. So I do have a lot of sun damage, I'm sure, underlying my skin. So I was really happy to know that the cosmetic depth derma rolling could have good effects on sun damage. Okay, now I'm going to show you a derma rolling session. And I will say a couple of things before I get into that. First, you always just clean your skin well before you do the derma rolling. And if you're going to use a toner, go ahead and use the toner and let that dry for maybe five minutes, something like that. It is super important to use a very clean derma roller. He recommends cleaning the derma rollers with a denture tablet. You put it in water on top of a little round face pad so it doesn't you know, jar the needles when you, when you stick it down there. And then you put a denture pad in there and let it sit for 30 minutes. That gets rid of the protein deposits. I have done that in the past, but it takes a little more time. What I do is between uses, after I use it, I just run it under some water really well and then I spray it with alcohol that I keep under my vanity and I let it air dry before I put it away. Okay, and basically what I do is I just start rolling. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Avoid the eye area, of course. Two, three, four, five. Don't poke your eye, but you can get pretty close. Four, five. And then I go across, just five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm getting the crow's feet areas there. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Then I do the other side. Doesn't hurt at all. Be careful around your eyes. You don't want to poke your eye. I just go extra in this nasal labial fold area. This is not an exact science, but you're not pressing hard at all. You're not drawing blood. It just feels good. It doesn't hurt. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I do the ridge of the nose. One, two, three, four, five. And then I go ahead and get this area again because I don't think I hit that very hard. Not that you should do it hard. Just little grids of five up and down and then five to side to side. and then five across. And you're not really pressing. You're just letting the weight of the roller, which is not heavy, go across your skin. Then I also get the eyebrows because this does encourage hair growth. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I just go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five.
There we go. Gonna get the neck. And you just go across this area. One, two, three, four, five. And you can hold the skin if you have wrinkles that you need to get into. You can do that all over your face, actually. I think I'll go up and down on the outsides just because it's kind of hard to go side by side on the neck. Okay, that is how easy it is to cosmetically derma roll your entire face. And my neck is a little redder, my cheeks are a little bit red, my forehead is a little bit red, but mostly I look about the same, I didn't draw blood, and again, you don't have to push hard at all, you're just kind of barely, barely rolling this derma roller over your skin. Well, that was a look at my derma rolling session, and the reason I really favor using these shorter needles is there is almost no risk of scarring. It's a very safe way to get better skin, to reduce wrinkles, sagging skin, UV damage, that kind of thing. I just feel a lot safer using this. Now, in an esthetician's office, I wouldn't mind going higher for sure, but they are pros and I am not a pro, so that's why I'm using this Cosmetic Depth Roller. And really, that's what I recommend you use as well if you want to get good results without risking harming your skin. So this is what I do. I basically use these nip and fab pads about every other night on my skin. They're just little pads that are soaked in glycolic acid and I think it really brings on the glow. And I will link my video about this product below. It's only like $12 and it is fabulous, but I would never do this on the same night that I do my microneedling or my derma rolling. And so what I do is on off nights of using the pads, either once or twice a week, and I'm trying to work up to, to doing it consistently twice a week, but at least once a week, I'm using this Cosmetic Depth Derma Roller. And I have probably been doing this now for maybe about three or four months. And I really feel like it is kind of firming up my skin. You know, I do a lot of things though. It's hard to tell exactly how much of a result this has, but the fact that Dr. Setterfield is doing studies about this and showing before and after pictures makes me feel really good about adding that to my regime. And again, cleanliness is super important just make sure to use alcohol on it and water between every use. Let it dry before you put it away. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from this card deck called The Good Word, which is 50 inspirational scripture cards. And I'll hopefully find something that will really perk us up and make us feel good. What does it say? Oh, I love this. I love this. This says... For with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And that is Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And I absolutely love this. And something that immediately comes to mind is we have a situation at work which is actually really wonderful. We have been called before a larger insurance company. Called before, it sounds like it's a judge, it's not. We have the opportunity to share our FlexPlan product with a large insurance company. And we had a great first meeting and it was wonderful. And I tend to get really afraid about that. I tend to think, oh, you know, you get that imposter thing that comes in and you think, well, maybe we can't do it. You know, maybe we're not up for it. Maybe we're not good enough. Maybe they'll find us out that we're not good enough. And then I realized that God brought us this gift and I don't believe God brings bad gifts, but also that if I try to rely solely on my own confidence, then I'm going to feel lack of confidence. I'm going to be scared. But I realized that God can do anything, and God cares about all the little details of our lives, even down to the very mundane details. And I realize that I only want that piece of business if, if it's God's will, because I want our business to continue to grow and thrive. I want to be able to continue to pay our employees and give them a good workplace environment. I only want this business if it is God's will. And lately, I've really been trying to make a conscious effort to rely on the Lord more. And so every morning I get up and when I'm thinking about that situation, instead of thinking about how I should use my own confidence for it, I am thinking about turning it over to the Lord and letting Him work His magic in my life if it is His will. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.